Hello, 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 and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Lank as he quests through Chandelar. Uh, where last we left off, we were trying to complete side quests so that we could advance our main quest, and we basically had just completed a couple of them. Um, I think the thing to do now is honestly just boringly complete more until we can advance further, but we'll keep our eye out for things that are LV because our deck isn't perfect yet, and we'll also look for elf shops, because I want to be improving my uh, reputation specifically in some village that has an elf shop. Here, this has an elf shop. Let's take the quest. Verdant Forest. Small army flying... Ooh, yay! Armies. Defend against soldiers. Okay, so we need to kill three soldiers. This should not be too hard. In the meantime, what do you guys have for me? Nothing... Nothing. 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 Shuffle. Silvala, huh? I have Silvala. But I think one Silvala is plenty. I don't need another. Shuffle. I mean, I have 90 of these. I can definitely afford to shuffle for a while. Beast Whisperer. Oh, I love Beast Whisperer. Yeah, we definitely buy that. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. That just lets you draw through your deck really fast. Nope. Elvish Promenade, I remember being good. Why? Make a bunch of elves. So if you have three elves and you tap, 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 you can make three more. That's okay. I won't say no to this. It's not my favorite, but I have too much money and I want to spend some. Lanowar Druid, are you like a Lanowar Elf? Oh, sacked on tap by lands. Ha! Forget about it. One life for every elf on the field. That's worth a shekel. Creature control is that kind of power charge greater than this creature? Put a plus one card at this creature. Okay, so this grows to the size of my biggest. One more plus one card on Investigate that many times. So, I don't know what investigate means. Maybe that's good, maybe it's not. What I do know is this is a very limited card, my current deck. Spear of Zuri is worth considering. Wait, why does it say I don't own any of them? I totally own this. Do I? Is this not a Zuri? This is a Zuri. I own a Zuri. Is this like the wrong file or something? Should literally be in my deck right over here. Uh oh, it's a different like model of or something. Hmm. I wonder if that breaks the legend rule too. Ah, uh, I think one Azuri is enough. I don't need multiples. He's a good win con, but there are other win cons too. I'm not going to give up until I get one new card. It doesn't have to be a ton, just I want at least one thing to put in my deck to be like I made my deck better this, ga this game. Come on. If I had black in my deck, that would be good. Here we go. Mana Dork. 1-1 one, one Mana Dork. We take that. 600 Zenny? Or gold? How is it 600 to buy a mana dork? Jesus. This this might just be a really expensive shop. Everything here costs 300. 500. I guess I just happen to roll a lot of legendaries. There we go. Yeah, overall fairly disappointed with the, uh... Yeah, this is kind of like a mana dork, as long as you have one land. At this point, I can get rid of any two-cost one-mana cards in my deck. 
which I think I already have at this point, but let's add another Elven Mystic. Elvish Mystic, sorry. Uh, and then four Llanowar Elves, two Mystics, Aloe, Shepherd, Heritage, Druid. That's a good set. We don't need another 1-1 Mana Dork, so that was a wasted purchase. An expensive one. Uh, then we have one two one two, and then we have Marwin's okay, but not great. Honestly, Marwin's below the curve a little bit. <clears throat> this card feels nice, but isn't great. I think Beast Caller is actually better uh, for for what it does. Beast Whisperer. So we'll add that to my deck instead. Uh, do we have extras of these? I'm sure like an extra. Doesn't seem like it. Just show me all my elves, would ya? We'll sort by cost. Group by cost, actually. Group by rarity. Hmm. Hmm. Three mana beefcake is okay. Honestly, deck's in a pretty good spot. Uh, Canopy Tactician might be one too many uh, cards that don't add quite enough value right now. Ditto for Wildborn Preserver, but I'm keeping him anyway because I'm dumb. All right, enough to the wars. That was a very dissatisfying use of 20 shards. Uh, uh, first warrior, please be a cat warrior and not some kind of weird, uh, just a cat. Oh, you know what? You're a soldier. You're definitely the one we're going to go with first. We'll play a little bit faster than usual here, just to try and focus on getting through the fights quickly. Um, how do we do this? It's for a strike or something? No. Nah, we don't do anything clever. We just get T Kell and play, and then start T Kelling stuff. <laughs> That's fine. Block. Uh, play the Arch Druid. And pay two. Untap you? No, no, no. <laughs> Create another elf. Uh, we don't have any mana, so that's fine. And then we just swing. Undo. I meant to say okay. And then swing. There we go. Genuinely don't care about his health. Tap for four. Drop this bad boy. Get a forest. Tap for four. Make him big. Untap this bad boy. Drop this in play. Swing for 14 with Trample, GG. That wasn't so bad. I see you guys all attacking, but I'm only interested in the soldier, and that soldier is right there, so we're going for him. Okay, those cat knights clearly are soldiers. Look how many have spawned. Doesn't seem like the ideal opener, but I'll make it work somehow. Time is a drop. No, okay. Last turn that I have to do nothing. Uh, nah, that's fine. You can hit me for all that. Monarch, baby. Now, they can swing to try to steal Monarch from me, but they'll lose a creature if they do. So they're not going to. Fools. 
fools. Do you know what a monarchy is all about? It's about making you miserable. How come I didn't get to play this? At the beginning of your upkeep. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna try to hold off from letting him steal Monarch, but he really should just attack into us. Did he kill something? How did he ex- is that an exile card? Or It's in the tr death. He didn't play anything. Oh, tap, destroy big creature. That would do it. Uh, and that's how you steal Monarch. Nicely done. Okay, well that's how we put up blockers at least. Uh, I'll do this. I have enough to turn them into dinosaurs, so that's good. We're gonna attack just so that I can reclaim the monarch status. So that I can draw a spare card, and then we're gonna hold off and try to kill their creatures when they attack into me. Oh, you're attacking with just one? Yeah, we block. And then we do this. Ah! Oh, <laughs> nice, I hadn't thought of that. This card is a real pain, isn't it? How expensive is this? That it's, it's a three cost. Nice. Uh, well, at least this is alive to get tokens. It has too many tokens. So now it's at risk of dying again. So this turn we have to time to feed the Trepid Hero, and we have to play this. We might not be able to do both, but this is the one that we have to do or else we're just going to lose. So, Alright, let's, let's try that again. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Now we have one mana too few to play what I want, so we'll play what I didn't want, but I'm happy to have. We are still the Monarch. Which means we still have got a shot at this game, as long as he doesn't swing too hard right now. Oh, that's painful. But he's not all too bright. If he had crashed into me, I'd probably just eat it. Uh, let's continue to buff everything on the field. Wolverine Raiders to give me a shot at getting some extra health. And Priest of Titania. This should now be enough to trigger Allosaurus by itself. And at last we have a board. It's not a great board, but it is a board. I think that's the only wall that keeps them from attacking into us. He has enough defense to pump everything by one. A 4-3 still doesn't get through, so he can multi-block and kill this. But I still kill two for the price of one. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's actually really good. That's on the relative scale of how bad that could have been. That was really good. Now we start getting tokens, so... <laughs> the ball's in your court. This fight went from being boring to interesting real fast. I think... As long as I can maintain my monarchy status, he's not going to beat me. What's that? Spells are cheap, and has vigilance. Let's do elf and thing. Okay. Now what's the play? Um, we're going to swing with this ridiculously big army and dare him not to block. He's going to have to block most of this. We're going to keep one thing behind in reserve. He can go 1, 2, 3, plus 3, plus 3 on everything, and trade evenly with a lot of this. So we'll keep the Wolverine Raiders behind as well, just in case. Everything else is up for grabs. Uh, he's the most dangerous. 
He just exists. <laughs> yeah, he can play cheap cards as long as that's all he's doing. Okay, we have Azuri, so if he doesn't win this turn, we win next turn with Trample. <laughs> nice try. Trial you like. I have a 22, 20, or 44, 40, 44, 44 trampler coming at you. Your argument is invalid. 76 damage, baby. Uh, is that a dual land? It's a subpar dual land, but only subpar. It's a couple of them, so yeah, definitely happy with that. You're not a soldier. You're not a soldier at all. You're a raging Kavu. You're a soldier, but you're unreachable. That Kavu is fast, man. <sighs> okay, pincered by a Kavu. This quest is going to take the full 10 minutes to beat in it. Uh, that's fine. We'll do this. Build out my board. Build out my board. Um, buff the elves. This is why we have that plant. Exactly those situations. That's fine, I can handle five to the face. What you can't handle is what I'm about to do to you, which is trigger the Beast Whisperer cycle, where I just keep drawing cards, and then I play one of them and just get a ton of it, extra mana with which to play more cards. I will take Monarch status here. And with my time to feed, we will trade your best card for mine and then strike with everything else I've got. I'm not sure what he just did, but that was pretty nasty that it hit everything on my board. It's probably not enough, though. We outnumber you, so unless you've got a spell, GG. Thank you. Bunch of Kavus, all sellable. Soldier number three. An archer. That's going to be bad for all of my ranged flyers. Oh wait, I don't have any flyers. Green often does not have flyers. Scrib Sprites is a weird one that way. Uh, Azuri early? Nah, what else? Man acceleration always. Crossbowman only works on flyers, right? No, attacking or blocking. Good to know. Uh, Tvarkel. And tap for one. Untap. Tap for two. Tvar. Or sorry, Azuri. Work with Channeler is a no-brainer. Tap for one. Untap.
tap. Tap for two. Swing. Six six trampler. Good luck with that. And now you're just dead. Unless you have some really fancy footwork that I can't plan for. I don't see how you survive this. It's nice when it's easy. Hmm, it's a lot of if. Alright, finally we have to go after the biggest one. So who's the raging boss, the ultra king, the big soldier, the biggest diggus? Ooh, wait, ordinary elf. We love ordinary elves. We'll fight. Always on the lookout for more elf cards. And our track record against our elf warriors is like six to one. Oh, uh, we forgot to we forgot to check our opening hand for land. Oh boy, this is pretty awful. Um, we're not gonna need that in order to win. We are going to need this to stabilize, this to get ahead, this because it's playable, this is okay. Three turns, no lands, four turns, no lands, five turns, no lands, six turns, no lands, and he has a Wolverine Raider. Seven turns, no lands. That, on the one hand, I deserve it for not stopping to check, check my opening hand and mulligan. On the other hand, come on, seven turns, no lands. What are the odds of that happening? I'm really confused why all the cards I already have, like this, are not showing that I own them. I wonder if there's a glitch at play here, because I definitely have that. Maybe somehow, like, the New Game Plus effect isn't working? I don't know. Literally just removed that from my deck. <gasps> yes! Guys, we got one of my favorite win cons. Create X plus one plus one elf warrior creature tokens, where X is the number of attack... Oh, wait, what? No, never mind. This isn't what I thought it was. Carry on. Not great. Passable, but not great. This, on the other hand, is one of my favorites, so I'll definitely grab that. It's a good one drop. It can help you in some situations where you have nothing else that can help you. I love this card. No, not him. Alright, well we'll just go ahead and call this a wasted uh, shuffle, because we didn't find much that I like here. Certainly not enough to justify just how many rerolls I've done. Bah! Next! Uh, edit, edit, main deck, inventory, sort by new group by none uh, 
add that to my main deck. Uh, we have a lot of one drops. We can go ahead and get rid of one of them at this point. That's a lot of them. But I do think the Kyrian Ranger is a unique addition. When you only have one land and one Kyrian, you tap the land, then you untap the, uh, you use the Kyrian effect to bring it back to your hand, untap the mana dork, get a mana off that, then you replay the land and get an extra mana. So it kind of helps push you a little harder. Keep, drop, drop. All right, already this is better than my last run. That is not saying much. Let's get a turn. This is actually the classic turn. Manador turn one, Arch Druid turn two. Okay, watch out for the first strike giving. Buff all the elves or plan ahead? Uh, I think buff the elves. Plan ahead is fine. One, two, three, four, five still. One, two, three by itself. Heh, <laughs> por que no los dos? And then get this guy in. So everything is ready to go for next turn where I Wolverine Raiders and then just start winning. This is turn three, by the way. This is literally my board on turn three. This is the power of good elves. Uh, you're the strongest. Yes. And is there any reason not to just swing right now? Uh, I kind of want to use this guy's ability. And just play another elf just to pad out my board some more, but yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have used the plant. That was a mistake. Oh well. Hey, there's your fourth land. Start of turn five. The game is already over. It's funny. It's, it feels like I can't even understand how he can possibly not realize the game's over already. And he wasn't mana screwed, mind you. He just couldn't play as fast as I could. A Johnny, a Johnny double strike, a Johnny, a bunch of cats. This is a really good a Johnny. If I was white, I would run that. Maybe it's time to build another color deck. Verdant Forest is protected. And with that, we will go back and claim victory and hopefully advance the main quest line. Complete. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot to... Well, it doesn't matter. It didn't break. That's what counts. A human male approaches you, dressed in a well-tailored black coat with silver flourishes. You there! Yes, you! The elf! You are the one who just finished a job for the locals, yes? Yes, that's right. I have another job for you, and I won't take no for an answer. My name is Donovan, Sir Donovan Timost, and I have an urgent need for mana shards. For more, far more than I can source in any one town. Realizing the financial implication of this, you suddenly feel as though his fine coat is Donovan's roughing it attire, despite the fact that it likely cost a year's wages. I can't say that I carry that many on me, but I suppose I could sell you some of what I have. No, no, the problem is that I've already purchased them, and the caravan they were supposed to arrive on is far overdue. I need you to go and find it quickly. I see. Now then, you are already aware that I will not be taking no for an answer. Donovan hands you a sheet of paper, blah blah blah. Here are the details of the caravan's plan route, personal passphrase, ID, find my shipment. No opportunity to say no. All right, let's find the caravan. Begin the search, leave Verdant Forest. I hope these tasks not gonna be easy. Instead, consult the map, head to Apothecary's Hold. Should I quit here or should I keep going? Uh, Apothecary's Hold, Apothecary, whatever, is where exactly? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll play a little longer. Uh, try and get up the Grease Hold. Um, let's do a warp to center. And then go from there. Oh, no. Feels like that will be the shortest route. So at this point, the reason I'm so willing to, to, to leave green is because I do feel like my deck has been built strong enough that I can win fights with it. Whoa. Uh, not where I meant to go, but looks like a cool spot to be. 
Uh, snag a little gold and get out for now. Particularly unique looking map locations will always catch my eye. General caving, I mean, I've got money, I've got shards, I can get more, but I have enough. Though what I should do is check one of these stores out for equipments. Wall token. That actually might... What, what am I wearing now? Heart and 20%. Just 20%, plus 3, plus 2. What am I wearing now? Heart and 20%. Oh, well, first things first. This is plus 4. This is 15. Oh, wow. That is strictly inferior. Yeah, I'll take a upgraded move speed. What's it going to cost me? 20%, 20% a heart. Uh, Yeah, we'll sell some stuff. I, I want that. I want that badly enough to sell a bunch of stuff. Sort by rarity and just start throwing it away. Sell, 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 why do the wolf sell, sell endless evil, check reserve, thing to remember is pretty much no matter what I do, I'm going to get all these cards available or back at some point, so it's not that big a deal to just get rid of a bunch of them and get them back later. I already have enough of these for my current deck, so... Alright, that close, or be close. I think I sold a bunch. Yep. New Boots is mine. Now, a wall token does seem better than a plant token because walls can actually block things without dying so uh back 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 equip on my boots equip there we go improve mood speed i barely even want one of those mirror shield we all figured out was a equipment that i would have to equip so how much is the shield here? 6,000 times. Ah, it's too much. I'll come back if I want it. Oh, well, actually, what's the other shield? Just hearts. Man, that takes my right-hand slot. Wait, it takes my slot? What am I currently using? Hmm, okay. Yep, carry on. Continuing the main quest. We can't be that far now. Oh, is it in red? Somehow I just assumed it was in black. <coughs> yeah, it would have probably been about as fast to go through green, all things considered. Except I would have done more intentional fights. Uh huh, uh huh. Alright, into the fray. Nobody's been seen. Bandit attacks, cave nearby for me to investigate. Ah, that's the kills. Ho 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 ho! I've never seen warning hard quest. That's really, really tempting for me. I'm I'm telling you what we're going to do, guys. Change of plans. This is now our main quest. Uh, and then we will come back for the mainline quest later. Where is the so-called sewer? Oh, it's right nearby. Yeah. So should I cut and then resume next time? Or should we just go for it? You know, what? let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. You guys are here. I'm here. We're going to enjoy this. We're going to really put our elf deck to the test. Now, notably, we're not going to actually get a whole lot of green cards out of this, but we are going to make a massive profit, and that's what counts. And then maybe we can go and buy that shield. Slime Hive. So the goal is to kill everything in here. 
Clear the old sewers and develop the target location of the waste biome. Defeat the mother slime and all creatures. Okay, so we'll start with the mother, and then we'll beat all the little slimes eventually. That looks like the mother. So we're going straight for the mother. Doesn't look that scary. The mother slime. That crown either means boss status or has equipment. There's no turning back. Blah, blah, blah. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a slime counter on the slime boss effect. Then each opponent conjures X card named Blasted Landscape into their library where X them. Slime counters level. Whenever a player cycles a card, you gain two life. Well, that sucks. So my deck is going to get worse fast. Any card draw effects are at a premium, and once you know it, I open with Leaf Crown. So this is kind of perfect, actually. Forest drop, Kyrian Ranger drop, pass. Oh my god, and I have Beast Whisper money shot. So we're going to go gain green. Uh, untap anything, so we'll untap ourselves to lose this. Replay this, gain green, two mana. Um, I can put down the Preserver or the Bramblewood Paragon. Or the Leafy Crow. This guy I'm not going to be able to afford for a while at the rate I'm going because I didn't, unfortunately, roll a Mana Dork. So we're... Okay, we got the Mana Dork. Um, we're definitely going to play him. It's the only shot I've got at growing my board. Uh, this has two Slime Counters, so my deck is already going to start to fill up with crap right now. This might be all I get for a while in terms of useful creatures. Let's attack with the Bramblewood Paragon. Then we'll carry and Ranger him back up. And pass turn. His deck is also going to fill with garbage, so that's good. One, two, three, four. That's enough mana to potentially play a Beast Whisperer, and that's what we're going to do. One, two, three. Return to hand. Four. I can't replay this because I already played it this turn, but it gets me the Beast Whisperer into play, and that's all I care about right now. I have for you. Explore. Well, he's got. He's actually done nothing but play lands this whole game, so we're going to be getting some big, big slimes any minute now. But we just got a game winner right here, as long as we can maintain. Uh whatchamacallit effect monarch effect so we're gonna go wildborn preserver for two uh one untap two mm. i have a total of four mana i would rather play garenberg now and wildborn later so this is fine now i can't i could carry in this back up for a one drop but I can't play another land this turn, right? So probably we hold off on doing anything dumb. We will swing with the Bramblewood Paragon just to keep him low. There's the first of our junk cards. And there's the first of his big cards. Artifact, land, enchantment. Oh, please don't kill a court of the Garenberg. No! Okay, that was really bad for me, honestly. But I need, I need a land badly enough that this is actually not a bad card for me right now. So, good. Um, our win con, that was a win con and it's gone now. What can we do instead? We can play one, two mana, untap three, cap is three this turn. Is it worth it to get this guy down? Yes, oh my god, yes. Then we have enough mana to do things. And... Carry in this guy back up. Oh, it has to be a forest specifically, huh? That sucks. I'm not too worried because at this point... Uh, I still have what I need in terms of a draw engine. Gelatinous cube. Non-ooze. Okay, what is getting dissolved? 
Yeah, that would be the one. Until it leaves the battlefield. So I can get it back if I kill him somehow. Okay. Uh, I just chump block that for now. Actually, I take it on the chin. Three damage isn't that bad. Oh no, I want to keep Monarch status. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. It begins. I should have a forest, actually. It's better to play than that. Um, how fast can I get ahead here? Uh, Tivar Kel, I think, is going to be a necessary choice. And then tap for all the mana. Why did that only give me one undo? For each creature you control, right? So that should be a lot. That's five. Okay, good. One, two. Uh, no. No, I want something else. I want wood elves. Sure, if you have it, but I don't think you do, so no. We'll play for one, that's fine, and do this to buff a little. Then we untap. The circle of druids. We tap for massive mana of seven. We play a bunch more cards, but more importantly, we keep drawing with them. One is fine, because that is still enough to keep this. One is fine, because that's still enough to draw me another card. If you can afford it, I would like to spend two mana to buff this guy even further. And now we have a huge creature to strike with. And I think we are finally ready to go off. So, strike. Oh, it's a death touch. <laughs> okay, then. At least we had trample. At this point, my deck is more crap than not. But... I don't think I have to give up just yet because I do have a board. I am missing a win con. The last couple win cons I got have been killed. Go figure. Um, what do we do? We could Presence of Hydra, summon a Hydra, and then try and cast it for a ton of mana. That might be an okay move. I don't like using my special ability, but he cheats, I cheat. Cascade, 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 Cascade. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, That means summon four elves, right? Because it can't... It can't hit all the... That actually digs through all my bad cards. That actually might be just, just exactly what I need. Um, Circle of Dreams Druid, please. For the mana. And then pay my ten cost. Okay. Yes, I'll take a T-Var Kel. Yes, I'll play a Wolverine Raiders, and we will pay for it. Yes, I'll play a Sylvana. Do I not have the ability to generate mana? I do. Okay. Yes, I'll play a Heritage Druid, and yes, we'll pay for it. Yes, we'll play him, and yes, we'll pay for it. We'll use the Heritage Druid this time, because apparently I have every card in the game available. The only thing that really would cost me the game here is a board clear. If he has a good board clear, I could be in trouble. And even then, I have at least some decent options in my hand. Can I win this turn? Uh, probably not, unless I have a pumping card. Let's see. I don't have a card that pumps, unfortunately. But... 
but I do have a lot of beef on the board. And all of these count as tramplers. Part of me just says wait till next turn and play the Apex Devastator. The other part says at least throw something at him. Um, I think the thing to throw at him would be probably this Mana Dork that has Death Touch. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we'll kill both of them. They'll regenerate, but that's hardly important. The death touch lets me get even more damage through. That's sweet. I hadn't thought of that. That should give me back the Beast Whisperer. Yes! Uh, we'll discard all of the blasted landscapes. All of them. And we actually... We have so many in the deck. There are 37 in my deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, that tracks. I have no solution. Spot removal is effective at spot removal. Okay. Still did its job. Um, it's our best play here. We have Beastmaster in play. Ooh, can we pop this for it's down? Oh, not yet. Okay, so we have one more turn until we can do that. Then we're golden. Uh, where's Circle of Dreams? Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so now we have 14 mana. So let's just start playing a bunch of elves. Every time we play a card, we get to draw two. So we should be able to draw at least a few new cards. This is comical. And somehow I still managed to have 36 cards left in deck, so I'm doing a good job playing it down. But, uh, to quote Rurouni, uh, to, to make a quote from Rurouni Kenshin, your swing was beautiful, I'm at a loss for words, but now you lose, Fuji. Keep the two draw cards just in case this goes horribly pear shaped and swing with everything you got. What just happened? We won that game, right? Oh, oh, it's round two. Okay, we won the game and I somehow clicked past the windscreen. That's fine. Round two. Uh, we recognize that we need to go off fast because he's going to fill up our deck with crap. We have a one drop. We have no two or three drop. We have no win con. We have a couple win cons on this. If we draw a two more lands, we're happy, but that's a lot to ask for. Here, this is much better. Everything we need, a murder option, a win con, a T-Var. Mm, I think we even get rid of our kill card, to be honest. Our win con is just to go faster. What an interesting hunt. I'm glad that we opened with the boss, because the boss is the most interesting fight here. Uh, let's do a short by one, huh? At least we're going to get our first strikes in. Okay, we can either go four mana Mirkwood and start attacking. Or we can play something for less, like this, and start building it. Predator Ooze is going to just, just annihilate me if I don't get some kind of token generation going. So we'll do this. That's fine, cancel. And then next turn we're gonna drop Tivar and just make a minion with him every turn to block the ooze as it gets bigger. He has literally no reason not to attack with this every single turn. Okay, Gurenbarg is good for me in theory. In practice, it could be devastating if I'm not careful. Uh, do I play it now or do I play it later? 
I want Monarch status immediately, so I think I play it now. Um. Yeah, this is okay. And then Mirkwood Channeler on you. And attack for four. And Monarch fires. Uh, it's fine. I still block fully. And now <laughs> I get to grow also. We're going to grow the Mirkwood Channeler only. Well, we'll put one on the plant too, just so that it has some teeth. And then we'll switch over after that. And then we'll play that and that. However hard it is to get him down, we get him down. We start making dud tokens. Or can I play another card? No. Okay, yeah, so we start making dud tokens. Now I have chump blockers for days. Neither of you have death touch. Keep hitting. Draw a card. Please tell me I didn't somehow miss my window. Nope. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, that's actually the correct move. Is he trampling or something? How is he? No, he's not. He got fully blocked. Oh man, that's nasty. That's gonna multiply like crazy. Uh, do we do anything special here? If I put counters on this, this goes to 1616. None of these have death touch. Well, okay, I miscounted then. That's fine. Land. Draw. Monster. Draw. Okay, so we're at the drowned stage. This is probably as good as it gets. So we're gonna do this. Once again, same strategy as before. Go all in on my biggest creature. Swing with him. And next turn I threaten to win the game with him, assuming he lives. And we put him up now as a gigantic blocker so that my opponent has to deal with him. What's it gonna be? Okay nothing i can deal with you doing nothing uh just to secure the win each other warrior every creature with a plus one plus one has trample so let's make more tramplers you can be a trampler and you can be a trampler all right is that enough well goddamn better be and you can be an even bigger trampler. And you can get some meat on your bones. And you all can attack except for you, who I'm keeping in reserve. And you. Win, baby! Oh, oh bonus life? 60 shards? Dark Ritual? <laughs> the thing I paid for. Wait. What is Ooze Flux? Ooh. Uh, yeah, we're curious. So this is the Steel Boots. This is two less health overall, but I start with a thing. I love starting with permanence. Expensive counterspell. That was awesome. That was a testament to the power of my draw engine. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just going to mass sell this because I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of value added here. Well, that was awesome. Uh, climactic battle. I am perfectly happy to do a little mop-up while assessing what these boots do. The movement speed buff is definitely noticeable. feels like I'm on a road even though I'm not. What? Cancel. Sorry, I thought that was a forest I had clicked on. Hmm. That is interesting. Uh, not for this deck especially, but I want to make a counters deck now that leans on that counter card I have that doubles my counters, counter cards that improve the value of counters, and my basic ability that now also improves my counters. Uh, doing cool things with counters is the main highlight here, basically. We are one elf short of being able to do another tap three, play another card, so good enough for now. And I think we just win here. Let's play Archdruid. Counter, okay, never mind. It counters the ability, but not the spell, so probably okay. Let's play this if I can. Oh, I know what to do. We'll use tap, carrion ranger to untap, play this again, get that mana as well, retap, play this guy first. Play this guy next. Untap again. <laughs> retap. Play this. Yes, we'll draw a card. Yeah, we we actually will not say yeah, we'll sink it all. I don't need to keep going. At this point I've made my my point. My point being that I have six points of overkill. It's actually a five cost to enter, so yeah, it's not the best card. In most situations, paying one of each color mana is more expensive than paying the spell's cost. That's really cool. Thematic, I mean. Oh, that's so fun. But let's just go ahead and do this. Sell it all. So I was told that this was a really hard quest, and I see why. That uh, boss slime was no joke. Um, if my deck wasn't already built out, that would have been pretty game-ending to have to go up against him. Oh, that's not a mana dork. Whoops. I guess we just stall for a turn. Feed my board to you. Nah, that's fine. I'm about to get really strong anyway. Pyrrhus Prefect is good enough probably for that, right? Or I could do this and just start winning. Uh, it's a good way to go about this. Make everything bigger. And swing with this guy as the trampler. GG. Oh, interesting. Chivo. Oh, this is the edge of the map. Interesting. So I, I thought somehow this map was going to extend around and it would be like ways up and down. But nope, if I kill a couple sewer rats, I should be good. 
that an enemy? That is an enemy. Let's take you on, buddy. Nezumi Ninja. Doesn't seem that mobile for a ninja. I'm on the play. One. Untap. Play it again. Two. That's fine. I can discard. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so one, two, three, untap, four. It's amazing how much I can do with one land with this thing. Uh, play this bad boy, tap, go up to four. Markwood Channeler isn't that good with only one land. We'll play this, Court of the Garnberg. Make me the monarch. Oh, he kills the ooze flux. Of course, it costs him four life, so I guess it's you know his loss. And I get to buff the Garion Ranger. Um, are you that scary? Not that scary. Not sure how you managed to tap everything, but nicely done. Okay, grr. I messed that up so badly. I missed my trigger for adding free tokens. I tap my elf. Boop boop. Cash only. Cash on demand. That's actually very interesting. Black green alt lands. But uh, this is the entrance to the sewer. It's the left of the sewer. So we just got a couple basic rats to finish and then we should be done, right? Oh, and my health is up to 15 now because I got the plus one. So that canceled out the minus one effect of the uh, Mercurial Boots. And I do like permanents. This is a interesting start. Let's go for it. Okay, you've made a very interesting opener. Throwing down the gauntlet. We will put the land of war elves. Now, ordinarily, if I played another mana dork, I couldn't use it right away, right? But because of Kyrian Ranger being an active ability, I can use it immediately. So I can, for example, do tap for one, play the Heritage Druid, carry and Ranger, untap, replay, play this bad boy, use the Heritage Druid on the three that are not allowed to tap yet, and play this guy to get an extra land, and then use that extra mana to do this. So we're already pretty well set here. But just to make it perfectly clear that we're not going to take losing for an answer, we're just going to give everything plus one plus one. And uh, I don't want to risk anything, so we'll play the Mirkwood Channeler. Tapping things that are not going to be in battle. That's fine. That was not what I wanted to do at all, but okay. Um, uh, we'll do that actually. Oh, I can't. I can't pay it by using an ability. Okay, that's fine. Let's bring up the wood elf, who I will now. Bestow the power of Shablagu and swing with him, leaving me wide open for attack and taking very little damage. Do I have anything that pumps? No. So it's really just board presence. 
I don't want to lose more when everything else can die. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Ironically, Marwin is the only thing I lost, but that's fine. I ain't ratting. This might be it. This might be the last sewer denizen. I say might because I didn't have a clear picture how far west the sewer goes. <laughs> That should stop him from swinging into me. And now what? What do I do with all of this? I can eat this, right? Toxic. It dies proliferate. There's nothing to proliferate right now, so that's good. So I could eat that. It's probably not a terrible play, or I could just get ready to power up. But again, nothing of mine pumps, so that's not as great a play. Oh, this pumps. I just need more mana. So, yeah, never mind. That was a bad strategy. It's fine, you can hit. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a little short, so we'll do this. Uh, that's it. Why are you so confident? Toxic one, and Tertius, so you're really just asking to die. I should just oblige you. I don't want to feed you every elf I have, so I'll take one more poison token. That's fine. You can cost me this and this. That's fine. Okay, uh, we're ready to go off. Circle of Dreams Druid, check. Allosaurus, elevate. And we'll get this in play as well. Mr. Beast keeps ticking. Swing for a bunch. Oh, look at that. You had a plan. What happened to your widow plan? Everybody has a plan until they get hit in the face. Okay, it looks like we got all of them, honestly. But yeah, this was a this wasn't a hard uh, quest because of the number of enemies. It was because of the quality of those enemies, and the quality of those enemies was mostly the slime king. Oh, you look like some kind of horrifying cave spider. Not the ideal card, but the ideal fun factor. Uh, game, I guess? Dang, this thing count uh, takes you down fast. So, yeah, uh, wasn't expecting that, and that certainly added some length to this video, but that was a fun side quest, and I gotta hand it to the devs. Whoever decided to label it a warning, this is a hard quest, you just made me really enjoy this last half hour. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Tap another dungeon. Oh, T-Var is going to... Oh, wow. So it's a 3 mana 3-3 three, three that can be kept invincible as long as you tap a different elf. And then it also has a pump and kill option. But Izuri is probably better. A 
That's a bunch of money and a bunch of shards. And we haven't lost our main quest line. That's even more important. Well, now that we've got money and stuff, we can afford that thing that we couldn't afford before? No, we can't. But when we auto sell all of our cards, 4,300, we're still short. Just sell a bunch of stuff that's the wrong color, shall we? Oh wait, that's not how this works. There we go. Basically, if I decide I want to play uh, white, I'm going to have to go back and grind a bunch to get some stuff because I just sold out my white. I'm waiting selling planeswalkers because they're just really cool. 6,000? Oh, that 8,000. So we got enough. Steel shield purchased. Alright. Got some quips. Uh, we're going to continue our quest, but that will be a time for next time. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.